Hi all, welcome. Today we're going to be doing some Dutch oven campfire bread. I've got Wilderness Chef here by Ray Mears. I'm using his recipe but I'm tweaking it slightly. It does ask for 500 grams of flour but it'll also ask for 500 mils of cold water. From experience with this amount of flour I usually use about 300 mils. I do have the 500 mils but I'm warming it up next to the fire there just to get it lukewarm. I'm to add the yeast to the flour and then the cold water, but instead I'm going to put the yeast in with the water to activate that. The recipe is calling for two and a half teaspoons of fast action dried yeast, that's for the 500 mils of water. Normally when I add yeast, I actually always put a little bit more to be honest, I think that helps give you that rise. Because we've got 500 mils of water and I don't think I'm going to be using it all, I, I say I don't think so, we'll see. I'm going to put probably a good three heaps in there. Now we're going to give that a stir, put some cling film over the top and put it next to the fire, but not too close. Recipe calls for one and a half teaspoons of salt. Trust me here, I'm going to put three in. It won't over salt it or over season it. It'll be perfect actually. Okay, that's three in there and we'll just mix that about. Well, that butter's been next to the fire, it's nice and soft, so we'll put that in. Just give it a mix around. That'll put some nice flavor into that bread. So it's time to start adding the water and I would say do not add it all. We're just gonna put a bit in at a time, mix it through until I'm near enough the consistency I, I want, then I'll add that last bit of water and put this out on the chopping board here uh, to give it the need to work that, that dough. Now we're getting there with this mix and you can see how much water's left there actually, so that's quite a bit. That was why I put that extra bit of yeast in as well. So actually it's probably about right, but I, I, I maybe could have put in another half a teaspoon there. That said, we'll see what happens. Get some flour down now. Just put a bit to the side. Try to get it off your hands a bit there. What we're gonna do is just work this dough now. I just push it out like that really, with my hand and bring it back in. And then just push it out and bring it back in. I do it a bit faster than that and I do it over a 10 minute period so I'll give this 10 minutes worth of working then we'll put it back in the bowl here and we'll put some cling film over that near enough to the fire again just to be warm and we'll let that dough rise. So I had a little bit of that butter left and I've just uh, rubbed it around the bowl put that there I think I'll give that a good hour I ended up putting the bread in here and I wanted to warm up the Dutch oven a bit as well. It's risen, we're going to knock that back. It's nice to work. I'm just going to get a little bit of oil in the bottom of that Dutch oven. We form this into the shape that you want. For me, I'm quite happy with that. It's really nice to work that. Lift it up. It shouldn't stick to your hand. I'm going to put the bread back in. A little bit of flour over the top. I'm going to let that rise again. Bread's in the Dutch oven, the lid's on. I can feel the warmth from that fire there. So I'm just gonna leave it there to prove again. Half an hour to 45 minutes and then we'll start baking. So I've just chucked about six briquettes in here. Just to put on the top of the uh, Dutch oven. I'm gonna wanna bring the wood out, the coals and embers there. I don't wanna put this Dutch oven any closer cause it's gonna cook too much from the side too much of a side heat, which is okay if you keep spinning it around.
let's have a little look. The fire dwindled down so I was able to move it across, put a few more coals from the fire on top. Can smell it. A bit tricky to get that off. Doesn't seem too bad. I think that's done. It smells divine. The thing about Dutch oven cooking, don't rush it. Use your nose as well. So I couldn't smell any burning during that cooking process, so I knew not to check it. Done bread before, smelt it burning. So you get to learn these things. So that's nice and springy. I should mention actually I used uh, white strong flour but also some wholemeal. So it's 300 grams of white flour and, and 200 grams of the wholemeal. Look at that butter go on there. That just melts in and it becomes extremely tasty. When you cut the bread and it's hot it, it tends to smear it slightly. But later that'll be nice. Let's give this a test. Well, simply that is just super tasty. The extra bit of salt that I put in, it's worth it. It's perfect, really. I don't know what it is about warm bread and butter. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. Hope to see you again. Cheers.